I just had the best buffalo chicken pizza that I've ever eaten in my entire life and I've eaten a lot of buffalo chicken pizza so yeah I'm in a good mood. I am also wearing a Middletown High School volleyball t-shirt because Today's video is going to be all about my high school experience and I'm going to give you guys some tips and advice and how I kind of got through high school because I actually just graduated not even a month ago. So yeah, class of 2017, we did it. So I would suggest uh, grabbing some popcorn because this is probably going to be a long video. I have a lot to talk to you guys about and I'm only talking about like the main points there are just a lot of main points. Pause the video, go grab a snack, come back, and let's get started. Alright, so let's begin with freshman year, the first year of high school. So, freshman year, for me personally, was not so much about the grades, but more about transitioning into the school, because the classes were like very easy, like you did not have to do much work for them, at least I didn't, and it was more about kind of like meeting new people, meeting new friends, and joining new activities. I played JV volleyball that year and it was a lot of fun. So that's like mostly freshman year. Like I don't really remember anything else. I did orchestra um, and then volleyball and that's about it for freshman year. Like I didn't really like wasn't that involved and I wish I would have been more involved freshman year but that's just how it went. My advice for freshmen would be to work hard on your classes but like they're not gonna be like very very hard so just spend time like meeting new people meeting new friends maybe join a sport join a club something you haven't done before because freshman year is really like the base for high school so if you like start a club freshman year then you can like build up to it and then maybe eventually like be like a leader a senior year or like for a sport you would be the captain senior year or something like that so just try a bunch of different stuff freshman year see what you like and then you will be able to use that for the upcoming years. Alright, so now moving on to sophomore year. So sophomore year I feel like was the least stressful year of high school because you didn't have to worry about being a freshman, fresh meat, and you also didn't have to worry about AP classes or picking a college or any of that. So sophomore year was just kind of like a breeze, you know, a walk in the park for me. So yeah, I really enjoyed it and let's see, I have like a list. I like wrote down everything I wanted to tell you guys so I'm like looking down at it, that's why I keep looking over there. but. Anyways, um, I still did orchestra that year, I don't know, just throwing that out there, and then uh, I played varsity volleyball, and I also joined tennis that year. Now, I've never ever played tennis before sophomore year, I just, like, literally the day of tryouts, I decided that I would try out, and I found, like, a 30-year-old racket in my garage, and went and made the varsity team so I was like oh well okay so yeah try new things that's like the number one tip that I have to tell you guys is don't be afraid to try new things because you will never ever know where they will end up and I will get to that later also a big thing was got my license which was really fun that was me like trying to you know see your car I thought it would look better. It really didn't look that good. Um, anyways, but I got my license. All right, now moving on to junior year. Oh, junior year. That is the year that I started AP classes. I took AP Psychology and AP Lang. And let me tell you guys, AP Psych was my favorite class that I've taken in my life so far. Like in high school, like just, I loved it so much. It, it was actually like very interesting to me. So yeah, I loved that class. Um, I passed that exam, so that was great. But anyways, yeah, AP classes. My tip for you guys for that is to pick classes that you're interested in. Pick classes that you think are interesting and take those in AP levels rather than just like random ones just because you want the credit because you will do a lot better in the classes that you care about a little more, a little bit, kind of, maybe, but the ones that you are interested in even a little bit you will do better in than the ones that you absolutely hate. Uh, let's see, I was still in orchestra, I still did volleyball, I still did tennis, and I played first doubles in tennis that year and that was a lot of fun too, so yeah, like that. What else is on here? Oh, um, college. I started my college searches and this was very stressful, oh my god, because I started scholarships and I started looking for colleges. I traveled to, let's see, I think the first one I looked at was Emerson College in Boston, Massachusetts. That was a fun trip, but it was very expensive, so I was like, uh-uh, um, no. Um, anyways, I went to Lynchburg, Virginia, and that was a no to. I was also inducted into the National Honor Society my junior year, and if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically where you volunteer for, like, 
a certain amount of hours we had 40 and you just basically volunteered and helped out the community and I volunteered anyway so I was like you know what why not let's go on colleges so yeah I did that and that was a lot of fun um they have a lot of like cool events I did the truck pool you basically go and like pull a truck so that was fun and yeah I don't know that was just like really the only club I guess that I did I didn't really do anything else rather than like sports and a club for my school and then the last thing for junior year is uh very sad but i thought that i would include it because it is it was a huge part of my year the first week of junior year i remember it was that friday i think we had school like tuesday i believe was september 1st and then we had that was the first day and then like tuesday through friday but i found out on friday that my grandmother actually passed away so that was very rough um especially just like the first week of school and she wasn't doing well for a long time so it didn't like come out of nowhere but it was very heartbreaking and just not a good day for my family and I so yeah that happened junior year and that was really like the first person that I cared about that has passed away I don't really remember like anyone else like maybe when I was like a little kid or like something but I don't really remember and I didn't know them that well so yeah that really hurt but that's what happened and um all right so now on to senior year of high school <sighs> okay this is probably gonna take the biggest chunk out of this video because I have so much to talk about for senior year and senior year was just the craziest year of my life so far wow it's unbelievable so anyways let's start with actually before senior year coming into senior year the summer in between um Dorney Park made a whole video on that but that was a huge part of my summer my entire summer pretty much probably like 90 percent of it but that taught me so much and I will put the video like in a card up here so you guys can go check it out but yeah that taught me a lot at the end of I think it was like the beginning week of August like one of my last weeks staying at Dorney for the summer I met a guy didn't work but he taught me a lot so if you're watching this Thank you. So yeah, learned a lot from him and what else? Oh, I got my car and that taught me so much as well. I worked so hard during the summer and I was able to get my car. So that taught me if you want something, you got to work for it. Uh, what else? Oh, I took four AP classes, which was my biggest mistake. Um, I did well in all the classes, but they were just a lot, a lot of work. Um, so I took AP Lit, AP push yeah AP US history um, that's a push it, acronyms whatever I don't know and then AP environmental science and AP stats and I feel like if I would have taken like one of them it wouldn't have been so bad but all four piled up was a lot especially with everything that I was doing kind of like outside of school so I had a lot of homework every night and a lot of tests to study for and just a lot of projects and everything it was a lot but somehow I did it kind of I don't know honestly I don't know I don't have like any tips for you guys don't procrastinate manage your time wisely but like everyone says that so easier said than done I actually became a National Honor Society officer so I would make all the meetings and help plan things and just kind of like run the meetings basically with the other officers so that taught me leadership as well and then for sports I continued volleyball continued tennis I actually played first singles in tennis that year and I actually signed to play D2 tennis at Wilmington University that was very exciting for me that's kind of what I was talking about before is I literally started playing tennis like sophomore year two years ago and then now I'm going to play D2 at WilmU that's still crazy to me like I still can't believe that but it showed me that if I want something then I have to go and I have to get it, I have to work hard for it. So yeah, get involved in new things. Like I said before, you will never know where you will end up with them and where they will take you. So yeah, get involved. I also uh, broke my foot during volleyball season that year. It was at the last game, literally the last, like I think it was a third to last point of the last game and that was crazy to me I was like oh my god my foot hurts because my friend and I like both jumped up and she landed right on top of my foot 
and it hurt a lot and I was like oh my gosh like eh, it's fine it's whatever but then it started like swelling up like a bubble and we went to the doctor and I had a broken foot so yeah um, that was that that kind of put a damper in my just motivation to do things I guess I don't know because it was hard to like do like daily tasks like showering um, was very painful and hard yeah that was hard because I had to like stand on one leg and then like I had to like do my like I don't it so hard so anyways um, yeah breaking your foot is not fun don't ever do it it sucks. <laughs> Senior project was a pain. I hated it so much. Um, I actually designed a shirt that I do not have with me right now because it's at the other house, so I'm sorry, but maybe I will put some like pictures here or something of it. But yeah, I designed and sold shirts for Attack Addiction and it was a lot of work and I'm very glad that it's over. I enjoyed like selling the shirts and everything, but I had to write all the papers and like all of that and it was just like, ugh just awful but yeah anyways so senior project did not like but it's all right it was it was fun at like some parts so on to my job for a senior year I actually this I think this was the first like school year that I had a job because Dorney was in the summer so I was actually a volleyball coach which I did that on another video as well I will put it somewhere up here but yeah I talk all about that in the other video but that helped me so much I don't think you guys understand like it taught me so much and not only did it teach me like leadership to like cuz I was a coach I was like teaching these girls about volleyball but it also taught me how to manage my time because I would literally go to school go to tennis and then go to work and then come home and have all this homework to do for my AP classes so it was a lot to balance but I kind of learned how to like manage my time wisely kinda I don't know there were some days where I was just uh uh like doing my projects the class before it was due in another class but other days I was pretty good so yeah as long as you get it done before the deadline like it's good it's all right so that's mostly what I did throughout the year is I played volleyball did school did work played tennis and then in May we had prom which was so much fun oh my gosh uh, it was great so yeah make sure you guys go to like all the dances go to homecoming go to prom like just go to all the events that your school provides and even ones that your school doesn't provide just keep yourself busy that is so important at least to me it is because like I can't just sit around my house and do nothing like I have to go out and I have to do things I had so much fun this year doing like so many cool events like the plumber plunge there was this badminton tournament that my friend and I signed up for we actually won it so I was like whoa that's crazy but yeah two days after prom though was another very sad day for my family and for my neighborhood because my neighbor uh, her daughter actually passed away and she was I believe nine when she passed away and she had um, just a bunch of things that were going on with her body and it just did not end well so that really put a damper on things as well so after that was graduation and I graduated and now I'm here so yeah that was basically like the timeline of high school like the big ideas like obviously there was so much more that I could have talked about there's so much that goes into high school that if I talked about it all this video will be like two days long so I'm going to stop with the timeline here now I just have a few tips for you guys um, here they are <laughs> this is very important uh, you have to learn how to balance your time I actually have this like little note card thing and it has six different aspects of my life on it it has school it has work slash like jobs it has working out slash sports it has like social like parties events you know whatever it has youtube and then it has life slash other so that's kind of how i balance my time is i will go through my planner i'll be like okay like i'm doing the school i have to do the this work for today and then oh i have tennis practice that's in the sports like so that's how i kind of balance my time and it works really well for me because i can kind of like put different things into the different categories and that just i don't know that just works for me but what i'm trying to say is don't spend all of your time just doing school work and studying but also don't spend all of your time like going out to parties and events like you have to find 
a mixture of both of those so you can be successful in school and like sports if you're doing sports whatever but you also can enjoy yourself and have fun because you don't want to like wear yourself down because that's not good. Now I know I said this like a million times before but another tip is to get involved, try a new sport, try new things, join the club, you know, join the play. I really wanted to do the play but I just did not have any time to do it since I was doing sports so I couldn't do that but find what you like and then stick with it. That will make your school experience so much better because you won't see school as just like the schoolwork, you'll see it as the schoolwork and like the play or the schoolwork and I don't know, like FFA if you're into that. It makes school seem more fun because you don't only see like the boring like classes, you know, work part of it. You see like the fun parts of it as well. Also, take lots of pictures and cherish your memories that you have with your friends because you guys will not all go to the same college and it's will it will be very hard to see them afterwards like I'm not even in college yet and I haven't seen my friends in a long time like since graduation I don't think I've seen some of them so yeah that's crazy but it happens and the last thing high school like everybody says this and I never thought this was true like I would sit in class and class would go by so slow but like all those days added together, those four years, they go by so fast. I remember before freshman year, I got my very first like Middletown apparel. It was a Middletown t-shirt, it was blue, black letters, Middletown, and it's like long gone now because it doesn't fit me anymore, but I just remember being so excited and now it's over and that's just like crazy to me. So yeah, um, enjoy it while you can. High school isn't the best four years of your life but it can be very good ones if you make them good ones you can't expect it to be just fun if you don't try anything new or if you don't want it to be fun in order to make high school fun you have to want to make it fun and you have to go out and try these new things and do these events and go to prom and the dances and homecoming so yeah you have to make the best of it because it won't do it for you alone so overall Take your classes seriously, but also don't be afraid to go out and have fun and just don't worry about that assignment for right now, you know? One assignment will not kill you if you turn it in late or if you just don't turn it in at all. Like, you have to find that balance. So, yeah. That, you guys, was my high school experience. I really hope you guys liked it. Um, I was kind of all over the place, but that's just how my mind works. So I hope you guys liked this video. Um, give it a thumbs up if you did and check out my last two videos. I think they're gonna be like on this side or down here. I don't know where they are. I'm still learning how to do this like annotation and screen thing, whatever it is. I don't know, but they're all on the screen somewhere along with my channel circle thing. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys liked it and let me know if you want to see like college videos because I'm going to college soon and I think I'm going to make like some college vlogs and some college like day in my life kind of videos or whatever. I don't know yet but let me know what you guys want to see and I will try my best to do it. So yeah, I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!